Good day and welcome to another paint along um, in oils today. And we have this beautiful subject, pine trees. There's one in the front and there's one behind it, but they're just mixing together. And then we have this view over here and we have his brother, which will be on the left. It'll be over here. And we have this beautiful field of dried grasses and mosses. It's the middle of July, it's very hot. Okay, so I'm going to also try to capture the sense of the unbearable heat. Okay, so I'm going to start here just with basic colors to get the picture down. We got um, yellow ochre over here, and we have raw sienna over here. Okay, and we're going to mix in a little bit of red to keep it warm, and we're going to start by just drawing our picture. All right, so let's get started. In my mix here, I have 50% turpentine and 50% linseed oil. to remember about this nice fresh green tree at the end of this long somewhere about here it's going to be just to remember it I'll just do this for now to remember about this tree there you go look at that and I'm going to keep this guy quite thin because I'll be painting later a lot on top of it. Let's get it some color down. The color's gonna come the sky's gonna come down to about he here somewhere. Okay, so we're trying to mix these two polar opposites to capture this moss that's on the top here. And we have this burst of uh, green here, and then it's going to be more white, light brown over here. Yeah. But first we're like trying to capture some kind of sense of this moss, the front. All right, now we're going to move to the uh, branches and the needles of these pine trees. And we're going to start with a phyllo, phyllo blue, although it definitely looks green. It is called phyllo blue. Let's put it on the palette to see what it looks like. All right, so it is actually a blue. If you mix it with white, 
and you get this type of blue. You can mix it with a little bit of this cadmium yellow. Some variety going on. That's nice. So you see what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to achieve trees in front of trees. And we're going to slowly build the layers coming forward. And then we're going to go for this green tree, totally different. It's actually a, a, a tree with leaves. So it's the exception here. And maybe we'll have a little bit of leaves tangled around the, root, uh, the trunk of this tree here. All right, so we've got the first layer, let's say, of color down. All the color is down. And we have a good sense of what we're painting. It's very bright. I'm happy with that. But now we're going to have to add some shadows and the branches. And this will give it a lot more definition. And we can start separating the colors. Ooh. 
We can just take a look around. It's good to get a second, third, and fourth look at your painting and see what you're doing from a some kind of perspective. All right, so I've just uh, dug out this really big tube, very old tube, it's about 10 or 15 years old, of raw umber. And the raw umber is a very dark and rich brown. And we're going to use it for some of our shadows and for the um, tree trunks. All right, and we'll see how that looks. So. Now you look at all this equipment I brought. But what I forgot to bring was a, a rag or toilet paper or kitchen towels or something to clean my brush. And you're out in the field. I guess I could use my trousers if I wanted to. Actually, I could. Here's our bird umper. Okay, so let's get on with the tree. Okay, and the three trees in the back are going to be a little bit grayer. Okay, this tree has a big, it's not only a shadow, it's this area under the tree full of these needles, but it's also in the shadow, almost like a circle around it, like this. Okay, now we're going to paint these grasses. Okay, I'm adding some ultramarine into my burnt, burnt umber to make it a little bit darker and a little bit cooler with this shadow under this tree.
Alright, we've pretty well finished it. I want to tone down a little bit this foreground. And then we're going to be good to go. I don't want it quite so orange. Alright, and now we just have all these little acorns. And we'll just paint these details. Give it some kind of interest. Alright, so at this point we're just kind of fiddling around, so I think we're just going to stop. I'm quite happy with the picture, and the weather is changing as well, and it looks like rain is sort of on the horizon. So we're going to say goodbye for today, thanks for joining me, and happy painting!